And that's what God is trying to get us to the realization of. You're trying to earn your salvation by works. It's already been paid for. You can't put nothing else towards it. It's done. The contract's been fulfilled. It's been ripped up. Have a mortgage burning ceremony. My son did it all. And people are still like, what, what are the works we've got to do to do the works of God? And Jesus himself goes, the only works of God is this, believe in the one he has sent. Why? Because I paid it all. Ain't nothing else to be paid. You can't add one dime to it. No matter what you do, you can't do more. I did everything. I took it all. I paid the price that you owed. It's all free and clear. Matter of fact, so much so, I'm going to rip that temple curtain. I'm going to pay the debt. I'm going to show you that contract done. The Old Testament and gone. I fulfilled it. I'm going to bring you a new one by faith. New Testament, get it? New covenant, new contract. And to put your mark on this, all you got to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Because with your heart, you believe and are justified. With your mouth, you confess and are saved. And that put your name on the line. That all it is is believing in what Jesus has done. That the contract's been torn, been paid in full. And that we get the benefit thereof. We used to be slaves in it, having to work our way towards freedom. Now freedom's been given to us and we get to walk out as sons. We used to be paupers, now we're royalty. Why are we still acting like we in debt? Why are we still acting like we in spiritual debt? You ain't in bondage no more. He set you free and who the son sets free? Free indeed. Quit acting like you used to act. Start acting like someone who is free, because you are. You ain't got to earn it. It ain't about how many times you go to church, how many times you read the Bible, it ain't how many times you pray. Jesus did it all. The debt's been paid. I don't even know what you're paying on no more. Because there ain't even a contract like that no more. Jesus fulfilled it. And that's what he came to do. He didn't come to negate it. He didn't come to uphold it. He came to fulfill it. He was that perfect sacrifice. And that's our benefit. You want to know why Simon Peter was blessed? Because he understood that. You want to know why this centurion is blessed? Because he got the benefits of that. You want to know why my little man is so blessed? Because he's starting out like that. Debt free. He ain't got to walk in bondage. And he got a daddy that's going to help him see the light of this.